Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode, I don't necessarily have an unboxing, but I have a first impressions. So in front of me, I have my uncle's Breitling and I'm super excited to see this watch hands on, um, I guess for the first time, because I've seen pictures of it and it looks very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at this and give you guys my first impressions of the watch. And uh, yeah, just to, just to see what kind of divers are out there because Mostly when it comes to divers, I'm a very big Omega Seamaster fan, and I really don't look elsewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and open this watch up and then give you guys my first impressions. And then later on, I'll give a full review of this watch. So super excited to get this. Thank you, Theo Pete. Thank you, Nick, for uh, you know letting me take care of your watch. Let me review your watch firsthand. So... Uh, I am wearing my Ianos Avisos, great watch, great diver, so I'm excited to open up another diver and uh, get into it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my god, look how beautiful this watch is. Now I've seen this watch on this wrist before, but I've never had the pleasure of uh first hand operating and wearing this watch so i'm super excited to see this watch let's take this off to the side wow this is the breitling super ocean heritage this is the first gen i know they have a heritage 2 um which we'll get into later in the review but this right here is a beautiful looking watch let me go ahead um take it off this pillow here just to give you guys a full look at it it's kind of hard to do here there we go so it comes on the mesh bracelet here very nice solid case back all polished this is a big boy this is actually uh, what is this one this is it feels quite big. Is this 44 millimeters? What is this? Let's see. I got it in inches. Wow, this is a 45 millimeter. 45 and a half. So this is a big, chunky watch. But for me, it, it seems to work. I like the look of this watch. Man, this is a nice looking watch. This is very sharp. All polished. All the way around, reflecting a lot of light. Great AR coating on it. Nice broad handset. This thing feels good. The crown unscrews nicely. Nice pop out. Winds very nice. I'm not going to give too much um, away the details of this watch even on the uh, clasp itself where it says Breitling everything's engraved everything's polished this bracelet feels nice everything looks very well built <sighs> the ratcheting sounds very nice man that looks really really good I don't want to curse but yeah, that looks amazing. The details of this watch is very nice. Let me go ahead and pop it off on the wrist, actually. Let's go ahead and take this off here. This Ianos is actually a 44 millimeter. And this Breitling's a 46. But, I mean, you can see the Breitling actually kind of dwarfs it. Kind of dwarfs the Avisos. It just seems a little bit, I know it's two millimeters wider, but it seems to actually be a little bit, it seems bigger, but maybe that's just me. I mean, I know it's bigger, but it just seems like much bigger, like millimeters bigger. Wow. All right, let me go ahead and uh, pop this on the wrist here. Now for reference, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. Man, that fits really nice. A lot of presence on the wrist. Breitlings are known for their presence. So, just looking at it. Oh my God. 
that fits so nice. Now I know they make this in a 42 millimeter, I wanna say, maybe a 44. I think it's a 42 millimeter, which I would probably prefer, but this doesn't feel too bad whatsoever. This feels really nice. I'm super excited to actually review this watch coming up. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe. That way you don't miss the review of this watch. But man, oh man, this looks really good. And even that AR coating, I mean, this is a, you know, multi thousand dollar watch was two, three thousand dollars brand new. Um, so you expect the the build of the watch to be very nice, very well constructed, which it is. So um, it's not that I'm surprised by it, but, you know, just having it in your hands really, really shows it, how well it's built sunburst dial nice smooth sweep of that movement i have to double check to see what movements in here like i said when i do the review um you're gonna get a lot more details of this watch but just as a first impressions i'm very very impressed with this watch i'm actually contemplating on not giving this back <laughs> so all right, that's the video. That's the first impression. So go ahead, give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, hit that bell icon, do all those things, and uh, watch out for the review of this watch. And also watch out for the review of my Cassie Oak, the clear model, the, I forget exactly what the model number of this is, uh, but go ahead, make sure you're subscribed for that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.